If you ever find that you have unresolved emotional experiences sitting in your subconscious, consuming tremendous amount of energy, take a piece of paper and write down the problem on it. Every experience has emotion attached to it. Tesla says, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Everything is made up of energy and it's vibrating at a certain frequency. If I have an experience, it has emotion attached to it, it's vibrating in my subconscious mind. My goal is I can't do anything about the experience because it's already happened. But what I can do to help myself is to remove the emotion that's attached to experience. So I take a piece of paper, I write down the problem. As I write down the problem, something really interesting happens. That experience moves from my subconscious mind to my conscious mind because I'm reliving it. The interesting thing that happens is the energy, the emotion actually comes out of the experience, flows through my hands into the piece of paper. Now I crumble the piece of paper and I burn it in a fire. It could be a garbage can, a fireplace, it doesn't really matter. Does the fire destroy the emotion? No, because you can't destroy energy. But what it actually does is transform the emotion in the paper into heat, flame, ash, smoke, and a whole bunch of different things. How many times should you write? Well, depending on the emotion. If it's an intense experience, you might have to write about it three or four times. If it's not so intense, maybe once or twice. I remember the first time I ever shared this exercise was with a group of entrepreneurs in Perth, actually, about five years ago. And one of them said to me, look, Dandapani, I realize that experiences have emotion attached to them. And I realize as well, when you relive it or you're writing about it, it goes from your subconscious mind to your conscious mind. But this whole concept that emotion comes out of the experience, flows through your hands into the piece of paper, I find it really hard to believe. I find it that it's a little bit too spiritual. I said, fair enough. So I asked him, do you have kids? He says, yeah, I have a couple of kids, a four-year-old and six-year-old. I said, on Father's Day, on your birthday, do they ever make you cards? They said, they do that all the time. I said, how does it look? They go, well, it doesn't look that great. It's made by a four-year-old. Let me ask you this way. If you saw it in the store, would you pay money for it? And they go like, no, no way. But do you keep it? He says, yeah, I keep every single one. And I asked him why. He said, well, it's so full of love. I said, wait a minute, you're telling me your, your kids know monk magic? Because two minutes ago, I told you about putting emotion in a piece of paper and you looked at me like I was a crazy person. And now your four-year-old son knows how to do this, right? Because he's taken a piece of paper, put his emotion in it, a piece of paper that you don't want, a cardboard that you didn't want, put his emotion in it, and now he's given it to you and you hold it. So you can actually transfer energy from you, emotion from inside of you, into another matter. How many of you have kids and have one of those not so attractive drawings at home? Do you keep them? Why? You'd never be able to sell it to anybody. Nobody would want to buy it, right? <laughs> you keep it because it's so full of love. It's full of emotion, right? So you can move emotion out of your soul. Because energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transferred or transformed from one thing to another. Take a piece of paper, write it down, and then burn it in an ordinary fire.